In the last video, we bypassed the scraping restrictions by using something known as user agents. And in this video, we'll be learning how to bypass them by using proxies. Now, before we even go into proxies, you need to understand what exactly is an IP address and what exactly is an IP address. So that's the question. An IP address is basically an address of your computer. So just like you have an address of your house or your apartment, even your computer has an address of its location. You can find your own IP address by just going to Google and typing in what is my IP. And whenever you connect to a website, you're automatically telling them your IP address so you can't really hide it. A website like Amazon can recognize your IP address and even ban you if you try to scrape a lot of its data. But what if we used another IP address instead of our own? It's kind of like identity theft, but it's not illegal. And even better, what if we used a lot of IP addresses that are not our own and put them in rotation, just like we did with user agents. So every time we send a request to Amazon, it's going to be with a different IP address. And whenever you use an IP address that is not your own, then that other IP address is known as a proxy. If you look up the definition of proxy on Google, it says the authority to represent someone else. So basically we are hiding our address and using someone else's. But I just want to make one thing clear is that whenever you use another IP address, this is not the IP address of another computer. So every IP address has to be unique. So nobody is actually using those IP addresses. So you're not actually doing identity theft. Just wanted to make that clear. Now using this proxy is really, really easy because of the libraries that a lot of Python developers have created. So more specifically, we are going to be using the scrappy proxy pool library. And if you scroll down, you will be able to see that all the instructions have been given over here. So the first thing is obviously we need to install it. So we'll go over here to file settings and do the same thing that we have already done a lot of times. And then we'll click on this plus icon over here and install this tool, which is known as scrappy and then um, let me go back and see what it says scrappy proxy tools so i'm just gonna write scrappy proxy tool and this is the tool that we need and if you want to know more about it you can just click on this github link which will basically take you to this page and now just click on install package and install it i've already installed it so i'm not gonna install it again but let's go and look at the instructions it says to enable this middleware you go to the settings.py file and copy and paste this line. So that is what we are gonna do. So I'm just gonna take this line and paste it somewhere over here. So where should we paste it? I'm just gonna paste it underneath this uh, robot.txt. And then it says go to download or middleways and copy and paste this thing. So I'm just gonna paste this. I'm gonna find middleware just for the case of uh, clarity i'm just going to paste this over here and if i have an extra download middleware don't worry about it i was just kind of testing stuff out so that's it and then it says you can run your program and it will work fine so now that we have pasted our middleware let's actually run our spider so let's go to terminal open up our terminal and over here go inside our amazon directory scrappy crawl and amazon and now this crawling process is gonna take a little bit of more time than your normal crawling process but once it has access access the ip address that it wants then you can just scrap as much data as you want so let's actually wait for it to complete scrapping and it's gonna try out a lot of ip addresses because some of the ip address might not be working now and it's gonna use this website known as free proxy list to get those ip addresses and if you want to use your own ip addresses you can always go to google and type in something like uh, github github proxy list and this will kind of give you a list of proxy and you can use any of these uh, websites so for example if i go to this website and go to the last uh, proxy list you'll be able to see that there are a lot of uh, ip addresses and port numbers and then the country where they are from similarly in another github directory if you go to this free proxy list you'll be able to see that this has a lot of uh, ip addresses and this thing after colon is actually the port number so this is basically what proxies are they are a collection of ip addresses and port numbers and more specifically ip addresses of other people so let's go and see if our program hasn't uh, completed yet. So we're just gonna wait for a little bit of more time. 
All right, guys. So our scrapper has finally finished scrapping, and if we scroll up a little bit, you can see that our page has been scrapped properly. Now, if it took you a couple of minutes, don't worry about it. Sometimes it takes a lot of time to find the right proxy. But in a scheme of bigger things, for example, if you want to scrap thousands of pages of Amazon, it might be better to just wait for four minutes instead of running into problems later. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are going to learn how to scrap pagination of Amazon. If you have been following along all of these videos, the rest of the videos, I've already covered that, but I'm also going to cover it again in the next video so that you guys have an internalized understanding of how to do it. But instead of watching the next video, just try to do it on your own first. First, but if you're not able to don't worry about it we'll actually cover that in the next video and i'll see you over there